I'm going to assume that if you're watching this video, you've already decided that you want to be part of PCA Sim Racing and have already filled out the necessary registration form to get yourself started. So now you're just waiting for that all important iRacing invitation to the entry level league, also known as the Amber Group. So what I'm going to do for you today is help you know when you've received that invitation and how to accept it appropriately so you can begin participating in events. The first logical step you might take when you know you are expecting to be added to a new league is to launch the iRacing UI and go to announcements and notifications and check to see if there's anything there. And we can already see that there's nothing sitting here for me. No new, new, new notifications indicating that I've been invited to a league. This apparently is a bug in the iRacing UI currently. Um, if you do receive an iRacing invite, there's no visual indication of this outside of the league area inside the UI. So ignore this. This is not an indication that you have not been invited to a league. In fact, um, you're not getting get any indication uh, around new league notifications here, at least at the as of this time. We're going to close this and we're going to show you where exactly you're going to look for this now. So on the left hand side of your navigation menu, you'll see leagues. If you click on leagues, the default view is to show up next. And this is showing you sessions that are planned for leagues that you're already a member of. We want to go to my leagues and we're seeing all the leagues that I've already accepted the invites for. But that's not the full picture. We need to change our filter that's by default set to my leagues, ones that I'm already a member of. And I want to click on that. I want to select all leagues. And once you do that, you're going to see all the leagues, including the ones to which you have a, a waiting invitation. We click on that invitation and at the bottom, we can respond to that by accepting, declining, or ignoring the invitation. And once you accept it, you're now a member of the league and you can see all of the other members and begin to interact with sessions associated with it. Used to be too, you could log into the UI by signing into iRacing.com and getting into a website that would allow you to manage your settings in a slightly different way. You'll now see that the user interface is identical in this view now. They've uh, changed the process. When you log into iRacing on the website, it immediately takes you into the next generation UI, which is the same one you're using through your iRacing UI on your racing rig. Now, the cool thing here is that you are no longer bound um, to do the same things that you can do on your racing rig um, when you're traveling or what have you. If you have internet access, you can log in and do most of the same things except for running into a session and doing all those sorts of things. So you can manage your league invites uh, in the same fashion that I just showed in the UI by way of the web interface now, which is nice. The old interface that you may be familiar with is still accessible if you go to members.iracing.com, but you'll find that it is sorely lacking in capability. In fact, if we go in, we're not finding anything in terms of league information in here anymore. If I go in to view my profile, I'm gonna to be told that there's a better way to do this and it's the next generation UI. I really hope that this has proven useful to you. And if it has, please consider clicking on like. And if you want to be notified of new videos as they're released, please consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you very much for watching.